war. We're going to turn to a story out of Israel that's not about the war, actually. A coffee shop in the heart of Jerusalem's old city may just be the most expensive cafe in the world, thanks to a discovery by its owner of what could be a gateway that links some of the city's most holy sites. NBC News correspondent Hala Garani has more. Cafe owner Imad Abu Khadija says he is standing on priceless real estate in the heart of Jerusalem's old city at the intersection of the world's holiest sites. This place was my family. Allah was my father in 1930. So this was a shop? Just area, this area. And then you opened it? From here and up and inside mm -hmm. was full sand. Sand? Sand. Every day I was full, five bags, 10 bags, 20 bags, 100 bags, mm -hmm. 30 years. And then an unexpected discovery. When I was working here, I found this. Abu Khadija shows us a copy of a medieval map of the old city that he says shows his cafe located between the Al-Aqsa Mosque and Western Wall to the east and Church of the Holy Sepulchre to the west. All right, here we are going down. And with more digging, he says, a network of tunnels would be uncovered. So this is much larger than I thought it was when I was going down the steps. So essentially, it looks like there's more than one level here, but it just kind of, if you keep digging, according to the map at least, it would lead you to some of the holy sites in old Jerusalem. Back above ground, Abu Khadija tells us he's received multiple offers for his cafe and that Israeli authorities have denied him business licenses and ordered him to stop work on his shop. You have been offered money for this place. How much? First number, they ask me, we give you 24 million. Dollars? Dollars. When, see, when I say no, come again after a few months, ask me, we give you 31 million dollars. Though we can't confirm the price offered, Jewish organizations whose aim is to expand their presence in East Jerusalem have been known to purchase Arab-owned real estate in the old city. And it's not just here where the Israeli military tightly controls access and movement. In recent decades, the Israeli government has approved more than a dozen settlements in East Jerusalem neighborhoods captured by Israel in 1967 and considered illegally occupied land by the international community. The Arab population pushed out. Back at the cafe for Abu Khadija, looking after his family's business has come at a steep price. I lose my health, my money, my life, everything I lose. And Palestinians even thinking of selling to Jewish buyers often risk accusations of treason. But despite years of navigating bureaucratic demands, court cases and rejected business licenses, Abu Khadija is still here. The question is, for how long? Anytime you will come. NBC's Hala Garani with that report. And